Welcome to our Matador SEG28 Backpack Review. I'm not gonna lie, I've reviewed a crap ton of backpacks, and this one is unlike anything I've reviewed before. Which means you might not know if this is the bag for you. But I guarantee you by the end of this review, you'll know exactly whether or not it is the bag for you. And if it's not, I'll make some alternative recommendations so you can find a bag that better suits your needs. Let's quickly talk about the gist of the Matador SEG28. Matador is a brand that's really been on the backpack radar more and more over the years. But really this bag comes down to two things, organization and quick access which is because of these one, two, three, four, highly innovative and or weird, depending on your perspective, front, main, compartments. Each one has a different literage, four liters, six liters, eight liters, and 10 liters. Each one is accessible from the outside, and I'm gonna go in depth into that in the next section, so just hold your horses. But more in just terms of the gist of the bag, it's 28 liters, which is great for one bag travel. We got a clamshell style opening, compression straps, some decent comfort, an interesting laptop compartment, and some really durable materials. The style is kind of like tactical, modern, sort of. And I think to some of you, it'll speak to you right away. You'll be like, that's the look that I'm going for. I dig that. It comes in weighing two pounds, three ounces. It comes in one color option, black. This is the bag when it's empty, and this is the bag when it's full. I'm gonna pack this bag out throughout the entire review so you can see exactly what it fits. This is the bag when worn on me, for reference, I'm five foot eight. It comes with a three year warranty that protects you against any manufacturing defects. And for all you see before you, it runs around 250 US dollars. Now, if at any point in this review, you're like, holy moly, quick access plus intense organization plus a super tactical, cool look, I'm in. I want one. And if you're gonna make a purchase, we do ask that you do so using the first link in the description. The reason being, that link makes sure that you get the best price, and it also helps to support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel, which we greatly appreciate. Thank you very much. All right, first up, let's talk about the front of the Matador SEG28. Branding is pretty subtle, and we got the name right here, Matador. The overall look, like I said, to me, is sort of like tactical meets travel. Not too military, not overly masculine, but that's the look that I think this is sort of bringing to the table. For these materials, we've got a post-consumer recycled um, nylon. It's not like a name brand, not like Cordura or anything, which I may have liked to have seen in a bag at this price point. And the bottom is even more durable with some sort of ripstop nylon. You can see these squares right here. That's actually the sewing where the rip will stop, right? So it stops tears, super durable. I'm not worried about the durability of a bag like this. We've also got some YKK zips, but you know what? Let's just, yeah, let's just talk about this. Okay, let's just talk about it. Let's talk about it. So it's super busy, right? Externally, that adds to sort of an aesthetic which you may or may not like. And like I said, each compartment has a different literage. Four liters, six liters, eight liters, and 10 liters. And I know that because it's very clearly marked. Now normally, I'm a pretty organized traveler. I like packing cubes. I like pouches tech gear, clothes, you name it, I like to organize it. And the cool thing is like, you can just put some pouches in there, right? So I got the Bellroy desk caddy. I can just say, cool, I'm gonna throw the desk caddy in my top compartment, it's two liters, and it fits really well. So it doesn't have to go in the main compartment and I can just say, cool. Now I know, top compartment is my tech compartment. That's where my mouse, my laptop charger, all the tech stuff I'm putting in this compartment. Bada bing, bada boom, good to go. Should be noted that all of these compartments are protected with YKK, the best zips in the world, waterproof zippers. They're PU coated and we got a little theft deterrent mechanism where you can go ahead and slide it into place. And it's not gonna straight up stop a crafty thief, but it will sort of create a deterrence, a pretty decent deterrent system. All right, so I got tech stuff on there. Let's go down to the next spot. Let's say I got a dop kit, right? For all my bathroom stuff, my dop kit's a little bit bigger than my tech kit. Let's say I'm going out for like a week long trip. I want all my lotion and my conditioners, and my shampoos with me, boom. I got that right there. So now you can sort of see how this is working, right? But now we got the bigger ones, eight liters and 10 liters. For me, this seems like a decent spot to put clothes. Now, here's the deal. I'm stoked about the quick access for some of this stuff, but I just don't need quick access to many of my clothes when I'm traveling. That's why I'm cool with being in a packing cube stowed away in the main compartment. But let's play Matador's game. Let's just say I got some shirts, right? And a sweater. I'll play your game, Matador. Normally I'd army roll these, but I didn't. So I'm just gonna throw them in, right? And now I have my shirt and jacket compartment which again is protected with this YKK PU coated zip. I get it, 
I don't know if I need it, but I get it. And finally, 10 liters on the bottom. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw some packing cubes in there. Let's see if these fit. Oh yeah, they absolutely do. One, oh two, and I'm gonna put this jacket on top so it's quick access, right? So if I can grab it from getting a little cold on the airplane. It's interesting. It's I'm, I'm 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 not used to it. I'm gonna be very honest. I have not tested this on the road yet. So maybe when I do, it'll be like a game-changing experience for me, life-changing travel experience. But I think it's like I said. I'm gonna give him props. But here's the deal. We got to talk about how this sort of affects the middle of the bag, which I'll talk about in just a second. Let me just transition before we do. We got a top handle right here. Decent padding. External lash point. Hypalon material. Looks like it's laser cut, right? So if you want to clip a carabiner on there and carry something externally on the bag, you can do that. One of those in the bottom for each as well. But yeah, the meat and potatoes here is this and how it affects the main compartment. Normally I'd start with the sides, but let's just go into the main compartment, the actual middle area, and then we'll branch out of the sides. Boom, middle of the Matador SCG 28 backpack. So yet again, YKK PU coated zips all the way around. I, I like these zipper pulls too, might I add. They give a little knot there, um, which is welded with this plastic, which gives a nice feel, but also easy opening and closing. But let's see now how this front packing system affects the main compartment. Now, you have to understand this is pretty prescriptive. So Matador is bringing a theory, bringing a concept to the table. And their concept is you put all your clean clothes on the outside and your dirty clothes on the inside. What it says on the website, don't hate the messenger. I'm just, I'm just preaching. Matador also offers this interesting idea where they have a little clip right here. So you can sort of compress this and kind of sort of create more room inside the main compartment of the bag. Let's say you wanna throw a pair of shoes in there. You can kind of put the shoes here, close the bag and you made some space, but honestly, you can probably fit a lot more than just in these compartments, right? So just kind of show you, I mean, like you can see like behind here, we still got plenty of space. I'm throwing notebooks, I'm throwing umbrellas, I'm throwing headphones, I'm throwing a big old notepad, right? And you can see this closes with room to spare. So you sort of end up figuring out how you want to organize this thing, but it's a lot more than just these front four rows, but that's really the most important thing when deciding whether or not the Matador SCG28 is for you. I think it's interesting. Let me know in the comments. This is huge, this is different. You, comments below. A few more things about the middle of this bag. We got some compression straps, right? So if you are packing, you can go ahead and you know, you're packing really tight and you got like specifications to make sure that it fits on the carry-on, right? You can go ahead and tighten this guy up a little bit just to make it a cleaner to experience. On this side, we have a water bottle holder. Nice material, a little elasticity there. Pull tab, right, just to make sure that you can get in. Big enough for a 22 ounce Columbia. The pull tab is great because this bag can get a little tight, but then you can just go ahead and slide that right in there. I like this material, it feels nice. And then finally, on the other side, we have a side handle. If you want to go into briefcase mode, you can carry it like this. Decent little padding. You know, this is definitely a backpack first. It's not a briefcase, but if you need this, especially if you're putting the bag overhead, and actually that's what this is great for as well. So when you're sliding it in and sliding it back out, easier to manage. One more thing on the middle, we have this sort of quick access pocket on the top. Yet again, YKK zip, little lockable thing at the end. Inside we have a bit more organization too. Uh, this stretchy sort of mesh, same mesh that I think that they're using on the water bottle holder, which is a really nice material. This is good for a bit more organization. This pocket runs deeper than it looks, down to about here. I might put things that I want as the pocket name suggests, quicker access to. So I'm gonna keep my keys in the zippered area, right? Cause I won't need them when I'm traveling, but they're safe and secure in that section. I'll put my phone in there and maybe my sunglasses. Cool. Let's talk about the back of the Matador SCG28. First up, a laptop compartment that I'm not sure how crazy about it I am. You can see that it's, it's different. Yet again, Matador really pushing the innovation here. Where it's some things I applaud it, I don't know if I'm crazy about this laptop compartment. Reason being, it doesn't seem to keep its structure very well. But you can definitely squeeze your laptop in there, but I gotta say, eh, it's fine. It's definitely not the best laptop compartment out there. And it should be noted that Matador says that this can fit up to 16 inch laptops from all manufacturers. I get it though, making a laptop compartment is tough. You wanna to have accessibility while also having security. And I know this because, well, I don't know if you know this, but here at Nomad's Nation, we're actually building our own backpack. I know. And we're crazy enough to be documenting the entire experience here on the Nomad's Nation YouTube channel. So if that interests you and you want a 
further behind the scenes look at what we're doing, I recommend checking out the second link in the description below. That link will tell you more about our Building a Backpack project, and it'll get you signed up to be able to vote on some of the crucial surveys about our backpack, including our laptop compartment, the materials we choose, pocket location, all of it. It's the world's first community developed backpack of its kind. It's my passion project of three years and uh, reviewing over 300 plus backpacks. It's gonna be game changer. I wanna hear what you gotta say about the features of the bag, and I hope to see you in your inbox. Second link in the description. Back to this guy. From there, we got a handle here. This is more of a hanging handle, not like a carrying handle. Uh, there's a decent amount of padding to it, but this is definitely a great way to hang up the bag, right? But let's talk about comfort. Comfort comes down to the shoulder straps and the back panel. Shoulder straps themselves real fast. We got some external lash points, right? So you wanna clip a carabiner, maybe carry something externally, you can do that. But for the shoulder straps, we gotta look at the actual padding of the shoulder straps. This thing's pretty packed out, it's pretty heavy. The shoulder straps themselves, I like the padding. I like the sort of contoured of the shoulder straps. I like the width to help sort of bear the load a little bit more so it's not cutting into my shoulders, right? And I like the sternum strap. Yet again, some innovation here. We got like this little round web holder, right? This sort of accommodates the buckle as you adjust it. So it is adjustable, but not removable. The hardware is made from YKK, which I've been seeing more recently. YKK makes zippers, but they're actually making hardware recently as well, which means it will be durable. And as you tighten the sternum strap, you can actually use this little web holder, AKA as Aaron refers to it, the dangle stopper, to maintain the excess web there. So you just don't have to worry about it flapping all over the place. And the padding of the shoulder straps is nice. It feels well padded and we got some ventilation. I will say though that this material is a little bit coarse for my personal taste, but that coarseness, it's important to understand, will bring an extra sense of durability, but it will also bring a little extra sense of like scratchiness. This thing's like packed out, you're trying to wear it and you just like scratch the out of yourself. But you know, it will be durable. Another important part for comfort, especially a bag, a travel bag, is waist straps. Now this bag has waist straps, definitely not waist pads. There's no padding. But you got these two nylon webbings, right? And you just go ahead and swing these around and you got this. Now this is not as good as like a beefy waist pad. It's not, but often those waist pads, they're heavy, more expensive, and not everyone even uses them. These still get the job done. It allows you to redistribute the weight of the bag more towards your torso, right? That's what's happening here, right? With the sternum strap as well, without having that excess weight and costs associated with it. But one thing to know is that it runs a little high. See right here? So if you're the kind of person who likes to wear your bag super tight and super high, I'm going north of the belly button right now. That's not where you want your waist straps to be. We do have the web holders though. Stop the dangle, hashtag much appreciated. YKK as well, oh yeah. And finally for comfort, let's talk about the back panel. Yet again, the material's a bit on the coarse side, a little scratchy, but I like the padding and the ventilation looks good. I think this is actually a pretty quality back panel overall. The coarseness is not my cup of tea but it doesn't take away from the quality of it. And finally, luggage pass-through holder, right? So if you're actually traveling with a suitcase, you can go ahead and slide this over the handle. It will put the backpack vertical, but you don't really have a choice, right? Because this bag is super tall. So if you went horizontal, this would be taller than the actual handle would be. So you gotta go horizontal, there's no choice. But one cool thing, Matador threw in a little hidden passport pocket right back here. It's good for a passport, obviously. With the Velcro, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to access. So it's not like a quick access passport pocket, but it is a nice extra stash point for more valuable items. Okay, let's chat overall pros and cons of the Matador SCG28. And I'm gonna leave out the whole front organization system because I don't know if it's a pro or if it's a con, I'm gonna leave that up to you. Pro number one though, we got some pretty impressive materials. Pro number two, I like the comfort of the back panel. And pro number three, Matador definitely innovated on a few things which I always appreciate. But let's talk about some of these cons. Con number one, below average laptop compartment. Con number two, a bit of coarseness on the shoulder straps and back panel. And con number three, the hip waist strap rides a little high if you like your backpack to be worn tighter like I do. Now, there's a good chance that if you're still watching this, that you like this thing, right? Because you probably wouldn't have stuck around this far. And if that's the situation, you might be looking to make a purchase or learn more information about this backpack. And if so, we recommend doing so with the first link in the description. Reason being, I just want to make sure that you get the best price and that you don't get ripped off. And also, using that link for your purchase helps to support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel, which we always appreciate. Thank you so much. But there's also a chance that you are here and it's because Aaron, I don't want that bag. You promised me some alternative recommendations. Where are they? Here they are. Alternative recommendation number one is going to be the Air Travel Pack 3. There's a regular size that comes in 35 liters and a small that's 28 liters. And this is for you if you're like, I like Matador's size, but I just want something that's more simple and minimalist. The Air Travel Pack 3 sounds like a great option for you. Then you should definitely watch our full review, which you can find a link to in the description below. Alternative recommendation number two is going to be the Nomadic Travel Bag. It comes in 30 liters. It's got better protection for your tech gear. And if you're into like all these features and you're like, I want even more features, 
That's exactly what Nomadic brings to the table. We did a full review, and you can watch that by finding the link to the review in the description below. And finally, alternative recommendation number three is gonna be the Boundary Supply Errant Pro. This is for you if you kind of dig that tactical look. You like a bag with a ton of features, and you're like, I don't care about the price, I just want a badass backpack. That's what the Boundary Supply Errant Pro is bringing to the table. It's one of the biggest backpack releases of the past year, and you can watch our full review, our full epic review right here. That'll show you everything you need to know about the bag, the pros and the cons, and whether or not it's the bag for you. Be sure to watch the video. My name's Aaron, this is Nomads Nation, and we'll catch you next time.